Watch what insane Maxine Waters was caught on camera doing the second she heard someone say they love the president. There is no denying that liberals are insane in their twisted and delusional thinking. These deranged lunatics have been ranting and raving ever since Donald Trump was elected last November. Instead of these liberal loons working to better the country they continue to further divide us. Now, there are many moon bats on the left that are crazy, but not one as nuts as Maxine Waters, DCA. There are numerous videos on the internet that attest to Waters' insanity, but this latest video that has been released truly takes the cake. Ever since President Trump was elected we all have heard the left scream for his impeachment. While there are many out there yelling for Trump's impeachment, Maxine Waters has been the most vocal about it. It seems like every day Waters has a new charge to lambast Trump with, right? If it is not the fake charges of Russian collusion it is that is a rapist that makes fun of disabled journalists. We are all sick and tired of hearing Waters rant so when a Trump supporter confronts her what ensued was pure gold. A constituent in Maxine Waters' district finally confronted her and told her that she's been trying to get a hold of her. The unnamed person said that they had been emailing her and calling her office. Waters then claimed that she's entirely too busy and that she hardly has the time to check her emails. Waters then asks the constituent what she wanted to talk about, and here is when it gets good. Here is more from Gateway Pundit, constituent, well I just want to talk about your representation in Washington and our president as well. Waters, I can't stand him. He's the most horrible man I've ever seen in my life. Constituent, I love my president. Waters, I'm glad you do. Your president is a dishonorable, lying man. He mocked a journalist. I've never seen a grown man do that. He talked about grabbing women by the private parts. He lies every day. He's in bed with Putin and the Russians about oil. And everybody around him are allies with the Kremlin and with the oligarchs of Russia. They're gonna take us down. At this point the constituent brought up former President Bill Clinton because of his sexual deviancy and Maxine Waters brushed it off. Then Maxine Waters said she's going to work every day until she gets President Trump impeached. At this point the constituent said that she's going to work hard every day to make sure that President Trump isn't impeached, but that Maxine Waters gets impeached instead. Maxine Waters went ballistic and screamed, you cannot impeach a woman of Congress. Update, Maxine Waters said you cannot impeach a woman of Congress, not color. When President Trump talks about draining the swamp, he is talking about politicians like Maxine Waters. While Maxine Waters is ranting about Trump being dishonorable, she should really look in the mirror. Just recently it was discovered that Maxine Waters has been involved in a pay-for-play setup that has been enormously profitable for the Waters family. As the Free Beacon reported, Maxine Waters' daughter, Karen Waters is a well-paid employee of the campaign committee Citizens for Waters. Karen Waters has been on the payroll of her mother's campaign committee, Citizens for Waters, since 2006. She has pulled in more than $600,000 for her services since that time. Karen is in charge of endorsement mailers, known as slate mailers, for her mother's campaign. The slate mailer operation has generated hundreds of thousands of dollars for Waters Federal Campaign Committee in recent years. In order to appear on a Waters slate mailer, candidates for political office must pay citizens for Waters from their own political committees. If a candidate does not directly pay Waters Campaign Committee, they must credit their own campaigns with in-kind contributions from Waters. The mailers are sent to almost 200,000 constituents in the south-central Los Angeles area, where Waters holds considerable sway. The mailers consist of an official sample ballot with quotes from Waters about candidates and measures she supports. Waters' campaign received more than 20 payments totaling $297,500 for slate mailer endorsements in 2016. The largest payments, worth $35,000, were made by the Democratic State Central Committee of California and Yes on Measure M, a group that pushed for an interconnected transportation system in Los Angeles. Measure M was approved with 70% of the vote on November 8. Democrat Kamala Harris, the former California Attorney General who won a seat in the Senate this November, paid citizens for Waters $30,000 to appear on the endorsement mailers, campaign finance records show. This was not the first time Harris has paid for Waters' endorsement. 
Harris made two payments totaling $28,000 to Waters in 2010 to appear on the mailer when she was running for attorney general. A number of California ballot measure groups and judges also paid Waters tens of thousands for her endorsement this past election cycle. In case anyone was wondering, this is exactly what Donald Trump means when he says drain the swamp. These people are a plague upon our country and need to be removed as quickly as possible in order for our country to thrive again. While this video is truly hysterical, it perfectly depicts how deranged the left has become. Hopefully, Waters will be voted out sooner than later. Share if you are sick of Maxine Waters' lunacy. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.